Hello YouTube, and you may be thinking, are you talking to a hand? You are talking to my hand. The reason I am is I don't want to spoil anything about what has happened so far in terms of the Champions League. Um, go watch back every episode. This is episode 70. Just go back to what, 65, and you'll see why. This is the only time we're going to get you to go back and watch these episodes now before everything gets spoiled in just a second when we remove the hand from us. You've got three seconds, two seconds, one second. We're in a suit. That means we're in the final of the Champions League. HK in the final of the Champions League. I slapped my head really too hard. That hurt my ear. Oh my days. Get into it. That is correct. Go to our inbox. Historic Champions League Cup final. HK versus Barca at the Bernabeu. Where we have played already. We lost 2-1 to Madrid. We have beaten Madrid. We have beaten United. We have beaten many teams. We will go through... Um, I will go through and show everybody what's going on. But first thing is, we're going to get into the Champions League final by doing the press conference in our suit. We are loving that the fact that we're in a suit, that is for sure. The chat is loving life at the moment. Everybody's absolutely thinking this is amazing. It's great. It's great to be part of Champions League finals in a suit. Is well is the best part of Football Manager. I highly recommend, even if you're not even a streamer, if you make the Champions League final, you just suit up. It just feels so good. And just makes you fully prepared for what's about to happen. I think we're able to prepare for this one properly as a result. Um... It's our momentum challenge we're well aware of. Your side face a much tougher amount of Barcelona and clear face. But the underdogs for a reason, this is going to be tough. But who knows, anything can happen in soccer and it already has for us to get here. We are, well, this, I don't really want to discuss tactics before the match. Um, I don't really have anything to say. Barca are better than us. Um, far from its business as usual. It definitely has been if you've been on the stream, that is for sure. So now you don't perform if you're from Hanky, Hanky, and Oz then. That, the anchor man's good over half back, that's for sure. Um, I don't know or care how he's handled it, frankly, because I don't care. They've run 4-0. I pay no attention to other matches. Just our game versus Barca. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's the night before the Champions League final. So I thought what we would do is we'll do this. Go to season 28, show filters, click all of them, get rid of all this. Euro Cup. Did we? Oh, yeah, the Euro Cup from the start. This is the Champions League, right? Obviously, we started in round one of qualifying because our league's in such a low position, and we won't go through the qualifying games. We beat Levetsky 4-1 and 2-0. We then beat Cherish 7-1 and 5-0. Astana 4-1 and 5-1. We then have put this game on YouTube, and Slovenia gave us some trouble at home. We were very upset and got angry with the boys. We then won 3-0 away. We then, in the group, got drawn in the group of Real Madrid, Man United, Anderlecht. In the first group, 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 group game, we played Madrid at home. This one's on YouTube. We went, we played on the break after X amount of minutes. We scored in the 6th minute. They scored in the 28th. We then went on the break in the 53rd. And basically in the same minute we went on the break, we did score to make it 2-1. We then scored in the, um, we then scored in the 70th as well. We actually were 2-9 from this game, I'm pretty sure. 6 and the 8th. And then Schultz got a hat-trick. Doesn't matter. Uh, we were 2-1 up or something. We went to the break and we actually scored on defensive by this stage as well. It was a crazy game. It's on YouTube. Go check it out. The next game we played was Manny now, and this game wasn't on YouTube. We won 2-1. The game changed pretty much when Arundro got sent off. We then made it 1-0. We were in, not in control of the game, but we're definitely having better spells of possession, even though it doesn't say it there, but, you know, like in key areas of the field. We were probing the spaces in between the lines. It was good. It was good stuff from HK. We went 1-0 up pretty well, and then the only real key cut chance, they had two clear cut chances that we saw. Um, we, um... Conceded to William Stewart, who we nearly signed once upon a time. We just always, every time I see William Stewart, we're always going to highlight we had a contract accepted here, and then he went to Western Sydney Wanderers. Um, yes, this is William Stewart. Yes, he's amazing. Yes, I would love to have him in the Champions League final. But we got Trevino in some very good form. We then went on the break yet again, and we scored in that 58th minute. And from then, Man United didn't really look like scoring, and we gone through with a 2 1 win. We then beat Endelect 3 0 at home in a game. We pumped Endelect. Look at that, utter domination. Just they only had two shots. We never even saw a highlight from them. We then beat Anderlecht 7-1 away from home. This is Anderlecht's only goal in the group. Um, actually, no, I like. It was only goal in the group at the stage. I think they scored two against um, United, where United beat them 5-2. We then went through and scored seven. It was amazing. Then we, all we needed was a point in the last group games to get top of the group. We didn't, unfortunately. We lost 2-1 to Madrid. Um, we did tie the game up at 1-1, then concede a penalty. We did have a couple of chances late. Callas had a really big one-on-one -on -one chance, very late doors in this game. Unfortunately, we didn't win or get a draw, and unfortunately, we didn't win. We then get to um, Season 29, where we play Man United, and we were 2-0 down. We only needed a point to top the group. We were 2-0 down. We went to the counter, and in the same way we went to the counter, we scored. Arco was in the 51st. We then scored in the 54th with Trevino. 
right? And then from then, we were with the better side. We arguably should have won on the night, playing on the counter. But we did get that 2-2 draw, and we did top the group. We then got Atlanta, and this game will be on YouTube later on. We're going to have to upload all the games on YouTube later. Um, we, did drew, um, we then drew 2-2 two -two away from home. Um, we did go 1-0 up. We then went 1-1. One -one. We then went 2-1 up, and then went 2-2. Two -two. It was a very even game, and a game that deserved to be drawn. However, the second leg was slightly different, but at the same time wasn't. We went 1-0 down, um, and it was more against the run of play. We then created a lot of chances here. We scored two goals, and really, they didn't get a real big sniff of it. As much as they said that they um, they had edge possession, they created chances, they didn't really. And then in the 94th minute, this area scored one from distance. It was a great goal. In the 115th minute, uh, we also made all our changes there. Drama happening everywhere. We had we stuck with five at the back for the second half. We then got a quarter in the 115th minute where it was a goal line clearance. The Wallace hit a volley from inside the six-yard box and something that was cleared. From the resulting clearance, it fell out to the left wing and we swing it back in. And in the end, it fell to Pereira or somebody. Um, and in the end, it was it was actually it was Goodison, and it was a great save by Gomez in the shootout. Six six, Muta made a save. Um, and up until then, everyone scored penalties. We then had a chance with um, and Tate was put in the winning penalty, and he missed. Gomez made the save at six six though. Again, Muta saved again. Didn't just save a quarter. This time, Crespo, who the chat has been calling for to start, scored the penalty to get us free against Atlanta. We then drew Arsenal in the quarterfinal. We beat them one new at home in a game where Arsenal didn't create too much. Their star player got you know injured in the third minute. We went. In, we didn't necessarily go in hard on him, but we did. We did quite well. We played around, we did the ball, we did what we needed to. We went to the counter, got our goal with Gomez. We're happy with a new deal. We got through a one new win. We stood firm, it was brilliant. Then at, way at Arsenal, we played the counter again after um, we went one new up. Trevino, um, Trevino scored on the break, even though we weren't playing on the counter. We switched to the counter, Arsenal didn't get a sniff. We defended well, we defended for our lives, and we got through that one. We then played Olympic Marseille in the semi final. 1-0 we won in the 85th minute. We dominated the game and couldn't score. Versi Ozer had a great game, but they missed the penalty in the fourth minute. They also missed a chance with six yards in the sixth minute. We did not start well, but we then went, and there we go. We got through it, and we won 1-0. We dominated the second half of that game. We should have scored five or six. We didn't. Um, we then went away to Marseille, and we recorded a comfortable 2-0 win. All those games will be on YouTube very shortly, from the first league to that league. You, but you will watch this YouTube, and the games will be out there from the Twitch chat. We haven't put it out yet, because we've been streaming this all live, and we will edit all everything later. But today, it's Barcelona. In a Champions League final, we have played United, and we've beaten United. We've played Madrid, and we've beaten Madrid. We've played Arsenal, we've beaten Arsenal, we've beaten Marseille, we've beaten Atlanta, even though they're two teams that we probably should be beating on paper as well. But we are here in the Champions League final, and we don't care how we're here, but we are here. The first time ever an Icelandic club are here, we have played them four times, and we have lost four times. That is time for today, that run to end today. We have played at the Bernabeu already. We are going to sim forward today. Let's get to it. It's the Champions League final. Can little old HK beat the mighty Barcelona to win their first ever Champions League and to tick off one of the two things we want to do for the save, which is win the Champions League with HK and with the World Cup. We're getting quite emotional here. Wow. Yes, it is one of those moments. You know, you get quite proud as a manager and go, okay, we're in the Champions League. Send the assistant. FL, uh, FLA don't really care that we're in the Champions League final. Yeah, we'll put a bid in for... He's not going anywhere. He's a star centre back. Get off it. We get a sip of water. We get to the inbox. We get to it. At 8pm on the 26th of May. It is HK versus Barcelona. Twitch chat. I want to know your, your score predictions. Let me know. At HBG93. Aren't you going to get mad if you don't start Crespo? Proud of you. Actually, you're the perfect person. Are we allowed to play the Champions League anthem or will it be copyrighted by YouTube? Let me know, Proudy. Proudy's in the chat, by the way, everybody on YouTube. Copyright, probably. Yeah, I don't want to risk it. I would love to. Well, alcohol isn't really a thing. They're talking about something in the chat. I don't want to be copyrighted, so I better not. As long as you play it quietly. Screw it, it's the Champions League, and it's not being played quietly either. 
Who cares? Let's drink it in, ladies and gentlemen. Hopefully you can hear that one in the background. This is my ringtone too. Well, it was my ringtone until we lost. Crespo is not in the starting line. You will lose. I don't predict score lines. Wallace has been a still has been an absolutely amazing setup. I've got to play Wallace. Yes. Oh, the Champions League. Look, it brings back bad memories as a Liverpool supporter, but hopefully it brings good memories in terms of being the HK manager. It is Barcelona. I've seen games that I saw previously that we played in. We'll start with the bench. The Sturgeon's on the bench. That is correct. Sturgeon is on the bench. Um, he's getting a bit old, obviously. Pereto there on the bench. The 24-year-old centre-back looks quite good. Sharpenko, the Ukrainian, is there. As the Champions League anthem goes back, the hairs are sticking. Yeah, I'm with Proudy. My hairs are going everywhere. The Champions League. It's the Champions Oh my god. Figueroa is on the bench, the Ukrainian. He started last time we played him. He is a sensational striker. Velotti's on the bench, the 35 year old. I'm pretty sure there'll be a TM Ben's eyes. Dr. Benji would be loving that. Um, Rezik there, used to play for Liverpool. Big money move, 63 mil. Right. He looks sensational, but on the bench, the Croatian fullback. And last but not least, Mullins on up the uh, Belgium striker that is on the bench, but he doesn't look too great. Ruiz is what we used to be a wonder kid. He is now the Spanish international goalkeeper. There we are. Um, Orusu there, the left back, looks sensational. He is quite the left back. The Silva at the back, the Brazilian international, Victor Hugo's partner, looks crazy. The Ben at the end of um, his career with a UCL trophy? No, we are spoiling that. Come on. Pavard, the 33-year-old Frenchman's only got nine speed, and he's not he's, he's good in the air, but he's not Trevino. We've got to just let the chance to get him and play. This is a These are the champions. Colour looks great. This is some the chance to get us. Lopez looks sensational. Machado looks sensational. The champions of the Dead Bella looks great. The champions. The first time. We've got to get into the pep talk quickly. I love the Champions League song. We're on a good run. The champions. They're playing 4 3 3. You know what that means, ladies and gentlemen. It means we are doing this. Oh, actually, sorry, no, we're not doing that. We are going to put them on weaker foot. We usually don't do this, but it seems to work with the 4 2 3 1. We don't want auto play to play um, club to death, the Matrix sound trick. What we are going to do is we're going to probably put it here. Go back to it. Press OK. Lads, it is time. It's Champions League. Get it good. Get it over here, their striker. They're in the huddle. I was hoping they would walk out. The Champions League song ends. The Champions League will begin. The Champions. It is time. It is Barca versus HK. The Champions League final. The whole chat is predicted we'll lose. They are right for it. They're right to do so. All we're looking for a good performance to switch to the counter late doors and hopefully beat them. We're keeping the ball well here against Barca at the Bernabeu. Can we go maybe step in and get in on the ball? Gramado on the ball. Their striker looks amazing. Yeah, it is unbelievable. Torres, though. Centeno whips in. Can we go forward? Schultze on the ball. The German, the right, the left winger. He's born in the top five. Trevino, the star Mexican. Trevino is there. He hasn't got numbers, though. It's a great challenge there. Manchado's on the ball. Can we press him in here? Force him into a mistake? We don't. Connor's on the ball. They're into Pavard. Pavard plays back to where he is and he kicks it long. Can we get on the ball? We don't. And Brata's ball. They're to Dembele. Osuma Dembele, the star man for Barcelona for many, many years. He's born in the top five. From distance, what? strike. Ingo Grimaldo has put a dagger through HK Hart. He has hit that one all the way from downtown Los Angeles. That's a bad thing. You know what that reminds me? Oh, Sonny Orinko scored for 47,000 yards. Self for reference. Then Bele from gives it inside. Finds Ingo Grimaldo from downtown. We're going to have to put this on slower. It is one of the great Champions League goals. Look at that for a strike. Mutsa tries his best to get there, he can't. 
What a strike from the lad. And we're one nil down, so I won the goal in the Champions League final. Hopefully that doesn't mean too much. Keep going, lads. What we've got to do is we do all the time. Encourage, boys. Go and play your football. Your football has gotten you here today, and hopefully we can go do it right now. Come on, lads. Let's go. We're still in the Champions League final. The longer it stays at nil-nil, I don't mind. Trevino from the free kick. Hits it. Trevino oh, just over the bar. It was a chance. It was a chance. He's got 15 free kick takings. He's no Andy Tunnelway. But, oh, he could have scored then. We're doing all right. We're, we're fighting fire with fire. We will go to the counter after half time, that is for sure. Because it does get us goals. We just can't afford the Bellas maybe could pick up a knock. Gleason's lockdown finds Gomez though. Gomez finds Pereira back into Callas. Callas now looks for Gleason overlap. Gomez down the line if he wants to play him. He does get him. Gomez now, can he put a ball into the box? It's there. Schultz, he can't get out. There's a fool to someone. Maybe to Brata. Maybe to Centeno. Centeno can recycle possession. Yes, he can. He's brought out the Gleason. Gomez though, can he make a run down the line? He does. Give it to Gomez. Early cross. It's to nobody in particular. Oh my, Dembele's there injured, the star man for Barca. You don't want to see those sort of things in the Champions League. You prefer him to be out there and playing. Can we get them on the ball dead against Toyore? Centeno, the star, world-class fullback, can't. Gimeda's ball, oh, oh Toyore's in, running at his man. Toyore hits, with a good save there at the front post. Oh my, it was, yeah, it was at Barca, Thames is a stepping stone for sure. Dembele picked up a head knock, so he will continue. The ball back post, headed away, thick back in, and the highlight ends inexplicably there. We haven't been at our best. But we're only one nil down. We know how good we are on the counter. We're just going to tell the boys, show me something else. Because look, to be honest, it wasn't good enough. Start the second half. Thinking 55th minute, onto the counter we go. Because that has worked against every team we have played so far. Can we score from kickoff? Maybe. Callis, long ball. Gomez there? No, he's not. Can't afford to concede in the next five minutes or so. Alright, 51st, 52nd. If there's not a highlight now, we are switching to the counter we are. There we go. The tactics are coming in. This has worked every time. We're going on a much higher tempo, more direct, passing into space, exploiting both flanks. Take it off. Be more expressive or more direct. I believe in the boys. Confirm the changes. Let's go. Come on. It's time for the Icelandic clap. Come on, boys. On the break. Let's go. It's not happening at the moment. Not much is happening. Pause the game. It didn't pause. There might be a highlight. Terms of what we can do. Bra Callis is having his best game, nor is Brata. I'm going to bring Steven on, and I'm going to move... Steven. Right? And move into a roaming playmaker, really getting driving through the middle of the park. Confirm that first change. In terms of wingers, what we can do, we can bring um, Schultze off, but he has a goal in him. Torres from distance. The free kick is over the bar, just. We haven't really seen a highlight from um, HK. At some point, we will have to go for it. Gramada there. Can we just get it away? It falls to Bartra. Can we go out and press and win it? Falls to Torres. Torres back to Bartra, maybe from distance. He does go for the... Oh, what a save on Woods. He gets up and claims well. Here we go. Come on, boys. Come on, Mutsa. His ball's short to Wallace. Can he lay it out here to get We're great at playing out. Here comes Steven. Gomez now. The ball's on the already out wide. His ball in the middle. Finds Trevino. He's got a chance. Trevino's one on one. Trevino! HK1 Barca 1! Let's go! And on the break, go HK! In the final, it's 1 1! Here we go! The playmaking abilities of Steven finds Gomez. Gomez, the Brazilian, loves picking out a ball. It's a great ball in between the lines. Trevino in the channels gets on it. Takes two touches, gives the keeper the eyes, and the Mexican goes, no, I'm world class too. This is HK, we don't die. There we go, free kick, Gomez, back post. Shoots, he gets up, he does it. Back to Gomez, can he whip it in? Can we make it 2-2? The ball, hit, Callis, off the bar, no! Christopher Callis, the star Australians, hit the crossbar. We could be 2-1 up, up here in two minutes. You can't believe what you're seeing. The HK lads are playing well. Callis looks a bit tired, but you've got to stay out there, my boy. They've already made three changes. We're going to have, oh, we're going to have some uh, good stuff. Stephen, though, cross, back post, headed away. Gomez, he lost the shot from distance. Gomez! Gomez! Save! Gomez! I've accidentally run into my pool cue. Gomez! We're 2-1 up! Oh my god! We're 2-1 up in the Champions League final against Barcelona! What? Okay, defensive change. Callis is knackered. So he's coming off. And Tati's coming into here. We're going to stay on the counter for... Till... Oh my god, we can't stay on the... We have to part the bus. We have to. Oh my god! We're up! Much lower. Take a breather. Sleep deeper. 
closing down sometimes. Keep the freaking ball and do not, do not give it away. Stick to positions. Oh, don't let it slip. Don't say that to me. I'm a Liverpool fan. Gleeson, get that ball back on the fan. Wing back on the fan, sorry. Same with you, Centeno. Come on, boys. Come on. Schultze, go back a line. Gomez, go back a line. All right. Confirm that change. We are 2-1 up in the Champions League final. Crespo's coming on. The equipment has not been expected in Damo's house. No, it hasn't. Gomez, what a shot. Gomez, the Brazilian maestro. All right. Very simply, concentrate. Go, boys. Tactics. Sorry. Champions League final. You will apologize to me later. I'll apologize to you later. My sister's not happy. We've broken up the house, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. But oh well. Yes, I'm in a suit. You're not seeing things. Yeah, I know. Yes. Good. Not a problem. All right. Thank you. This matters more. Four minutes of added time. I've been told off by the household that I've woken everybody up, but who cares? Ten at the back. Crespo's on. The star man, Crespo. Confirm that change. Hold on. 91st. We conceded late against Atlanta as well. Do not do this to me. 93rd. 15 seconds, ladies and gentlemen. 15 seconds. 10 seconds. What a challenge from Pereira. I tell you what, ladies, gentlemen, boys and girls, the little old team from HK, they are one nil down in the 70th, but when the final whistle goes in 10 seconds time, they are going to be crowned the Champions League winners of 2028-29. Victor Hugo to Centeno, blow your whistle referee, make my night, make my day, make my year, make my life. Blow your whistle. That was perfect timing. Oh my God, Barca on the break. Centeno, well done. Blow your whistle. We are Champions League winners. We are Champions League winners. See? HK2, Barca 1. I'm going to watch the whole thing up the back. Oh, yeah. Get, get this top button out. Oh, it's party mode now. Oh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Get that one around the head. Let's go, lads. Make sure OBS is still like capturing me. We now look like an absolute pelican, but we don't care. What is going on? What has just happened? What did we just witness? HK have won the Champions League. The Champions League. What did we do? We switched to the counter. We've been saying the whole time. The counter is working. Look at, I've got the cup in my hands here. Oh yes, I want the cup. Yeah, the cup. Yeah, it's not the Champions League. It's not all big ears. Oh, they're in the dressing rooms. Look at the fans. The Madrid fans look distraught. Look at all the HK fans. Oh, pep talk, yes. You've done brilliantly to come back. Oh, that's what wins are all about. I'm so proud of you. Look at them all. We have just won the Champions League. What is this? Crespo has been a well, Crespo was a meant HBG 93, but Wallace is a tank as well. HK lift the Champions League. Grimando's strike is sensational. Someone got hurt, which is um Asuma Dembele. Absolutely thrilled. We're celebrating this one for a while yet. Yeah. After winning the Champions League, the board will be even more divining. No, I thrive under that sort of pressure. Everybody wanted to win it badly and it showed in our performance. I think we're capable of coming on a real force. I think we already are a real force. Unbelievable, Jeff. Yeah, unbelievable. Uh, the chat is going off. This is absolutely amazing. I forgot to change the title this whole time. It's still probably saying that we're in the quarterfinal or something. I am absolutely delighted to win this competition. I am delighted we went at the races for a while, but the players showed fantastic spirit to change the course of the match. Gomez's late winner is what soccer's all about. I have to hold my hands up, and he was the best player on the park. Gramada's goal, it's nothing you can do. It's a great goal. There always comes a time we need a further career and seek out new challenges. Look, we said that... Um, once we won the Champions League with HK, I don't know whether to stay in HK and try and win the Champions League with, Iceland, um, with the um, World Cup of Iceland. Or we just move to another club but focus on Icelandic football. Um, there is a part of me that might want to move to like maybe Liverpool or something and just go to England and see if I can win Liverpool champion, um, a Premier League and a Champions League whilst being in the same database. But we'll talk about that another time. Um, I will be finally prepared to make the such things public, and it's true, especially with the board. How do we only receive 3.656 my TV revenue? My... What's biggest overachievers? HK. Schultz gets most assists. Some 
this Italian scored the most goals. He looks sensational. Eighteen mil for winning the Champions League. Your finances must feel good. Oh, they do. At one point, they were higher than that. What? Go back. Go back. Go to the match report. But us have dominated us. Muta played well. Gleason played okay. Wallace played well. Victor Hugo played well. Centeno. Centeno. Brata came off. Callas came off, but he played his part throughout the whole competition. Mr. Callas. My favourite player of the save. Look at him. He looks amazing. On a free from the Centre of Excellence. If you have not checked the Centre of Excellence out, please do. Oh, my days. Gomez, Schultze, Trevor Vino came off in the 90th minute. You know... This man deserves a shout out. Crespo, he's the reason we're here. What a penalty in the thing. Nearly a five hour stream. We didn't predict this at all. Go to goals. We have to watch the goals back again, don't we? Just don't we? Make sure we're recording for YouTube. We are. So no bias in Callis at all. No, he's just my favorite player on the save compared. Silvio Rangoli is my other favorite player. We'll show you Silvio in a second. See, then Bele, Gramada. And when this goes in, there's nothing you can do. What a strike that is. That is absolutely amazing, right? That is one of the best Champions League final goals you'll see on a football manager. What a hit from Granada, right? We then go up the other end on the break. Gomez had a day out in the last 15 minutes. We one nil down to the mighty Barca. The boy over the top, Trevino, the world-class striker, has scored the one-on-one. -on -one. Then we get a corner. And not just a corner, not just any old corner. We go, we get the ball into Steven. The ball comes in. Gets cleared away, but to Gomez, who keeps the composure to bring it in and stop it hitting first time and put it past the keeper. We have deserved to win this Champions League. We have worked so hard. So many nights where I've sat here and pressed space bar and scouted. So many nights of bringing this team all together and scouting Mexico to bring in these Mexicans. We are going to go for the team in all its glory. And then we are going to end the episode. No, 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 your real favourite smart. Look, Crespo is up there. I love this guy. 1.3 mil from Benfica. Like... Look at him. Hey, he just, oh my god, he's a freak, right? I love Crespo. We're going to go on every player. Muta is a world, is a Champions League winner and a World Cup finalist, playing from little old HK. There used to be days where we used to ask if Muta was really good enough for us. He definitely is now. He's played his part. Gilius in the right back. We can try to convince him to play for Iceland so many times. He's now playing for Brazil. Um, it's good to have him as homegrown. He's sensational. He regenerated the club. I love him. Wallace now is the center back of dreams. We brought him in on a free. He took a wage cut to come here because he knew about the project. Well, you know, we're, we're giving him a story line. We, we knew about the project, what we wanted to do here. We, were one, we one day would be contenders. And we're now not just contenders, we are winners. And it's down to the Wallace and um, Victor Hugo partnership. Victor Hugo is now a Brazilian international with star potential. He looks absolutely amazing. Great passing, tackling. You know, he could nearly start playing ball playing center back nearly. Um, he is just amazing in the air, and I love him. Six foot six with 20 jumping reach. Centeno on a free. That is correct, a free. Um, world class left back. Anyone want to eat your heart out? What a player. Um, Arthur Gomez is Arthur Gomez. He is sensational. We love him. We just bypassed the midfield. Pereira, we obviously was our one of our first one because we picked up. He looks absolutely amazing, the Brazilian international. We picked him up for, seven, for 14 mil, and he has been the goods ever since then. Um, Bratz's brother, we picked him up very cheap, the one the kid at 2.7 mil back from Slavic Prague, the Czech Republic side. Always good to go raid him. Down to the what? I'm down to the Mar Marcus Crespo, the legend who is the kid is here known as Atlanta. Yeah, mate, don't worry. Crespo is the reason we are here, don't worry. I will give Crespo his due diligence. HDB when we get to him. Callus is Callus. No bias, but he is the best. He is a world class centre mid who has joined and has never put a foot wrong. Goal scoring, look at him in the Champions League. Eight games there in the Champions League. No goals, but at 7.24. But he has scored plenty of goals. Look, look at this one, Champions League, six games, six, um, six goals, seven, seven assists. He's just the absolute down, he's the mastermind. Gomez, the hero of the Champions League final. Just what a player, 3.3 mil. Oh, what a steal, he is sensational. Schultze on the other side was 2.2 mil deadline day, just a nice little 3.4 mil deadline day, just an absolute bargain. Trevor Vino was there, he's growing, he's a Mexican wonder kid. We paid the big 17 mil for him. Don't worry, he's been worth every penny. Peralta gets a mention maybe, Crespo definitely does. He's been absolutely amazing at the back and he has, he has to feel very unlucky that he is not in the Champions League here. 
We have got Brian that we can probably mention. You know, Brian's been sensational regen at the club and one of the Icelandic lads. And Patti, probably, if it wasn't for Pereira, would be starting for us. He is absolutely amazing, just like the bigger version of Kante, the South African. I love him. He's everywhere. You know, Jon's played over 100, 100 games for the club. That is for sure. I'm just hoping my computer doesn't crash. That is for sure. There we are, 175 games, 140 goals. You know, Isberg didn't get on the field, but Isberg's been here since the start, since he regen at the club. Unbelievable scenes. We have won a Champions League. Save the game, Dane, before it happens. But everybody on YouTube, that's going to be the end of episode 70. Follow us on Twitch for more. Well, I don't know when to probably even say HK content, but definitely for more Iceland international content. Definitely for more football manager content. Definitely more content from this save. Um, there is going to be, maybe not a poll, but maybe in the comments, just let me know what we should do. Should we stay at HK to grow some, maybe some Icelandic talent for the national team? Or maybe is it a time maybe where we go to uh, another club in the save, in the same save, we actually resign from HK. We go to a club, I'm thinking maybe the Premier League, I'm a Liverpool fan, Liverpool haven't been doing too well, their manager's about to get sacked. Um, I wouldn't mind going in as Liverpool manager trying to win the Champions League in the same save. Um, and tackling like City and United who have been amazing in the save. I feel like that's not a bad plan, but still be Icelandic manager because we obviously want to win the World Cup with Iceland as well. That's one of the other goals of the save. But we have done what we achieved, which was to get HK to a Champions League and win the Champions League. We have done it. I don't know how to feel, but it's been amazing. The, the ride has been unbelievable. I feel very proud and privileged to be in this position. Thank you to everybody in the Twitch chat that has hung out tonight. We'll get to a proper goodbye with the Twitch chat in a second. But for everybody on YouTube, that is going to be the end of episode 70. Stay tuned. Be subscribed. There'll be episode 71. I don't know what it will be. It might be a special. It might be something just to recap everything that's happened from HK's life. It might be that we're going to leave HK. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. I'll sleep on it. I've got to work on it all day tomorrow as well. Now everyone that's not nice Icelandic, win the CL again or only with Icelandic players. That could be a really hard challenge. It'll be really good. I just doubt that we'll win the Champions League with Icelandic players. It'll be quite hard. I would love to do it though. It, maybe that's definitely a possibility. I'll leave it up to you guys on YouTube. We'll have a talk about it in the Twitch um, chat in just a second as well. But for everybody on YouTube, HK Champions League final winners. I have the tie around my head and I'm still in a suit. And this is Football Manager 18. This is what soccer does to us, or football as I prefer to call it, even though everyone in Australia calls us in, in soccer. 90 minutes, 90 bloody emotions. We have won the Champions League with an Icelandic side. I'm probably going to go have a cry out of joy in just a second as well. We've beaten the Marty Barcelona in the final at the Bernabeu. It doesn't get much sweeter than that. For everybody in episode 70, that's going to end it. Follow us on Twitter, YouTube, YouTube, why not? Follow us on YouTube, give us a subscribe. Follow us on Twitch and follow us on Facebook. Enjoy the rest of your night, ladies and gentlemen, and goodbye.